trauma. And a lot of us are dealing with that. And sometimes it comes to us in different ways. You know, a memory or you go someplace and you think about something that happened, um, incidents, and you think you're over it and one text, one call can bring all that flooding back. For the last three years, since 2018, my husband and I, our families collectively, you know, once we got married, it was our families. Um, not just friends that are dear to us, but I'm talking about immediate people that we fellowship with on a regular in our families. We ended the year with the funeral and we would begin yeah. the year with yeah. the funeral. Um, just since 2018, starting with my father in love, nine, nine, not including uh, cousins and yeah. things like that. I mean, close family members, aunts, yeah. uncles, grandparents, like I said, his father. So if you, three years, the average of that is every four months we were at a funeral. Jesus. And then this week, my daughter, who will be 35 this year, she's married. I couldn't keep them apart in high school and they still together. <laughs> <laughs> um, she wasn't quite 18. And, she moved in with her boyfriend and then they got married and had two kids. So me and my husband were discussing this morning how she lived with her mother-in-law the same amount of years she did with me. Really? And this week her mother-in-law came down the steps and said she couldn't breathe and my daughter had to do CPR. And she passed a couple of days ago. Jesus. And I remember sitting there feeling for my son-in-law and his siblings. And my daughter said, Mom, I keep reliving it. Now, Mom, I, I just buried my mommy in December. So I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm feeling how she's feeling. I'm like, this is like mom to her. And I'm thinking about my son-in-law that we took my mother-in-law out yesterday to do her shopping. And my husband says, oh, thinking about our son-in-law, you know, I'm here with my mom. And I'm just thinking about trauma. Trauma, Jesus. One thing after another. So how do you deal with that when so many people are hurting and they don't know how to express it? And this virus keeps us from hugging on each other and loving on each other. And I just feel that weight and that pain and that trauma. I'm waking up out of my sleep and I'm crying out to God. This stuff hurts. Yes, Father. It hurts. Yes, Lord. And this morning, I was sitting and thanks to my husband, he's always telling me to write stuff down. So I wrote down what I heard. Trauma. T, trust God. R, rest. Yes, Lord. Rest assured that he who began a good work will finish it. It might not look good right now, but when he started, it was good, and when he finished, it'll be even better. Yes, yes. Assume the position. If it's on your knees before God, if you lay it down before God, yes, if you got to stay on your side before God, whatever you got to do, assume the position, stand, don't let it knock you down. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Understand. Yes, Father. Understand that he already yes. worked it out. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Mighty God. <laughs> Understand that he already prepared it. Understand that it was already included in his plan. Hallelujah. Yes, it hurts. Yes. But understand he knows. Meditate. Meditate on his promises. Meditate on his words. Don't focus on how it feels and what it looks like. Meditate on what he says. Yes, Lord. And advance. Keep moving forward. Amen. Yes. Keep moving forward.
forth. Through the pain, get up. Thank you, Jesus. Through the hurt, get up. Through the uncertainty, get up. Take a step. Yes, Lord. Keep moving yes, forward. Yes. Look, you're dealing with trauma this day. Take those words. Make them work for you. Amen. Trust God. 